Hi LEGO fans, it's Mag. Welcome back to the channel for another LEGO review. Today we are going to look at the Star Wars B-Wing, which is set 75050. Retails in the US for $49.99 and contains 448 pieces. The Star Wars B-Wing has been released by LEGO five times once as an Ultimate Collector series, once as part of the LEGO's Planet series, and three times as a standard building set. The Planet version is smaller in size and really not realistic to compare to. The UCS build is designed with a lot of pieces and is very large in size, making it more for display, especially since the UCS versions often have a high price tag. So let's see how the 2014 production shapes up against its predecessors from 2000 and 2006. One of the ships from the original trilogy, the B-Wing, made its appearance in the Battle of Endor. Though the ship was rarely shown in Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, it was part of the final space battle which ended the threat of the evil empire. It is a unique starfighter and has been well designed to mirror the actual ship from the movie. With the wings fully expanded, it is a large build but reasonable in size compared to the UCS version. This set is designed more for play than display, and Star Wars and LEGO collectors alike are drawn to the gyroscopic rotating cockpit, which is unlike any other spacecraft in the Rebel fleet. The B-Wing gets its name from the craft's appearance to the letter B when the S-foil wings are deployed. It also makes it difficult because this aircraft doesn't stand on its own. It needs to be supported in this position. If you can picture a straight line down the S foil here, and then picture some curves going from here to here and here to the bottom, that is where you'll get your letter B. The craft has a primary airfoil or long wing that makes up the length of the hull, with the cockpit at one end and a weapons pod at the other end. The two S-foils amidships on either side of the main airfoil also hold weapons. There are some blasters sticking out on either side of the S-foil. This set also contains spring-loaded missiles. Now the wings are expanded when the plane is in attack mode. It could be in this position or this position. When not attacking or when coming in for a landing, the S-foil wings will contract and go alongside the main airfoil or long wing. But the biggest attraction of the B-wing is the rotating gyro cockpit. I will demonstrate the gyro function for you. So here we are looking at the B-wing in a horizontal position, such as landing. But when it's flying, it has the ability to do a full 360 twist all the way around the cockpit. As you can see now, I am on the other side of the ship and I did not touch the cockpit whatsoever. That is the gyro mechanism that always keeps it upright. From this angle, we're looking down the length of the B-Wing and I wanted to just show everybody that the gyro cockpit comes in two pieces and it's held together just by a Technic pin that goes through a single one by one stud that has a hole in the middle. I will pull it apart to demonstrate. There is the Technic post, and if I angle the body, you can see there's a one by one stud with a hole in the center, and that is where the gyro comes into play. Now, if you push these together too hard, then you are gonna create some friction when the body is rotating around the cockpit, and you may not have fluent or steady movement. So if it doesn't rotate to your liking, then just ever so gently loosen up that pin just a little bit so you can have just a little bit of play between the two pieces holding the cockpit together and you should have no problem having the cockpit rotate at all. Though not shown in the movie, the B-Wing can be placed in a vertical launch rack instead of landing horizontally. Also not shown was the appearance of a landing gear now, I've checked various forums and blogs. There are small populations within the Star Wars LEGO community that believe there are very tiny landing skids to keep the ship off the ground. 
but the majority state there are no landing gears and the ship rests flat. Or in some cases, it may have a hover ability. There are three characters that come in this set. Each have an accessory. On the far left, you have 10 num. Love the printing on it. I like how the helmet protrudes just a little bit beyond the face. There is no chin rest or strap. It just kind of sits like that. In the middle, you have General Aryan Kraken sporting an outfit that kind of looks like he came out of Empire Strikes Back. It, it looks a little bit like Luke Skywalker's outfit. He has good facial printing with the headset right onto his face. Besides the wrinkles in the face printing, they've given him some gray hair. And last, on the far right, we have the Gray Squadron Pilot. That character has a very large helmet and no movable visor. The tinted eye protection is painted right onto the minifigure's head. They do include a communication device running along the side of the helmet. Here's a look at our characters with their helmets off and a shot from the back so you can see the printing on the rear of the torso. Ten, Num, and our Gray Squadron Pilot seem to have very similar torso printing. Obviously different in color, a few different wrinkles in the jackets. They do have alternative faces. General Aryan Kraken does not have an alternative face. If we compare just the three B-Wing sets from 2000, 2006, and 2014, this B-Wing set has the highest piece count at 448 and the lowest price per piece at just 9 cents. There has never been more than three minifigures included with any of the B-Wing spacecraft. I do want to point out, however, that in 2000, there was enough pieces to create a small separate apparatus from the ship. And in 2006, they did include the vertical launch rack for the B-Wing. So even though this set has the most pieces and is the cheapest of the three, it lacks in a little bit of additional items However, that may not be important to some LEGO fans. With all that said, let's give this set a grade of A through D. A being an absolute purchase, B being a better purchase, C, consider purchasing, or D, don't purchase. Considering the size, piece count, price, innovation, historical reference, we score this set an A, absolute purchase. Even though there were only a few appearances in Episode 6, there was enough demand for LEGO to mass-produce three different versions, a UCS version, and make it part of its smaller planetary series, proving the B-Wing is an iconic spacecraft coveted by Star Wars fans and collectors of LEGO. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Google+. Follow me as I share my LEGO experiences, trips, builds, and hauls. Don't forget to subscribe to get alerts when we post more videos. I look forward to reading your comments, and we'll speak to you real soon. Bye for now.